Mm, right, what are we doing today? Springer. I'm looking for something that's reasonably good order, that's on a budget. In this particular one, I've seen them at Crack Shot in Camouflage for 199 quid. It's a package deal, what you can get. There's the Gamo, Varmint Swarm. Multi shot, brake barrel, very surprising. Quite intrigued with it, you know, because it's, it's 10 shot, it's got a magazine, no messing around probing. It's a nice little halfway house between Springers and PCPs. Yeah, nice. Seems very well built, seems solid, robust. You know, it's fair enough, it's 115 millimetres, uh, centimetres rather, yeah, 115 centimetres end to end, so that's about 45 and a quarter inches, now, so it's a fair old length to it, but it is moderated, it is shrouded, it's got the air stripper on the end, I suppose the intention being letting your pellet go out into free air, this one's 2-2, two -two. as I understand you do get me 177, uh, yeah, you're getting quite a bit for your money. Like I say, I've seen these on a crack shot at 199, the camo version. Uh, they do a synthetic version as well of the Barmin. They also do a, a few other variants because this is a Springer. And they do another one, I believe, is called the Elite, that's part of the range. And that's a gas ramp. It's still the 10 shot magazine. All you do is you bake it and it loads. You know what's not to like? It's still the same as loading it in with your thumb. It saves all the messing around. And if you have to take a set, second shot, if you're doing vermin work, that's quite handy, really. You know, it does speed the process up. So what we're dealing with, back end, quite a nice perforated recoil pad. Fairly solid, mind. There's a tiny bit of give in it. Nice beach stock. The stock itself, 750 mil long, which is, around about 39 and a, uh, 29 and a half inches so it's nearly 30 inch nearly two foot six the stock itself so like i said it's, it's quite a long gun but you wouldn't think it because when you shoulder it it feels like the farm point is bang on you know, it's nicely balanced now from your back of your recoil pad halfway across your grip it's only 270 mil so I mean, what's that in inches? Just under 11 inches. Most of them are 30 mil, 300 mil a foot. You know, so it's a little bit of difference, but it's almost as though the trigger's a little bit further forward than most. I don't know. That being said, nice solid metal trigger guard. That's on fire. That's on safe. So, two stage trigger. It is adjustable through there. There's a little adjuster at the back. Uh, I've got a trigger test, so I don't really bother. I normally do it by feel. You know, there's no point in me having it, having a feel that's different on every gun and trying to set them all to the same pound. It doesn't work like that, does it? So, but yeah, lovely smooth action on it. Comes apart really easy. Not a lot to cock it all the way. And it goes back nice and sweet. Goes into place a tree. Fancy mechanism in here, it's pretty straightforward. But the stock itself is very easy. It's only secured there and there. There are little torques, there's a torques there and the torques there. How it comes by the looks of it. Uh, right, the scope comes with it, it's a gamma scope. It's a 3x9x40 by by fix. Quite effective. So I've kind of zeroed it up on the 20 l behind here. So but I wouldn't mind getting it over to Yoda's at some point and trying it out a lot further out because it's showing promise. It is 2-2 though, like I said. So, nice finish to it. You've got a little warning here that says, beware of remaining pellet into the breach. The reason for that is because when you get down to number one, you load it and it shows you the warning triangle with an exclamation mark. Because of that, if you, haven't, if you don't know, if you can't remember if you've taken this shot, and it'd be a good idea that if you see it with that logo there, the warning triangle, point it somewhere safe. I've got a box over there where I shoot into or at soft ground at the floor. 
and just try the trigger. That's the only little bugbear I've got with it really. Uh, fixed scope mounts on it, 25mm tube. It's got a percussion mount on it as well. So I think that's because it's a springer, it stops any movement, but dandy bit of kit. You get them on some of the BSAs, I've seen them before. So yeah, lovely, lovely gun for what you're paying. I mean, I've seen them all kinds of prices, up to 280 quid, so at 279.99. It depends where you shop and what you look for. But you do get the gun, you do get the carry case, you get some pellets with it, a uh, little bit of paperwork that's not, not even worth looking at really, to be honest with you. Uh, it's got everything that you see here is what comes with it and the carry case. And like I say, there's some places doing them for under 200 quid. Absolute bargain if you're getting them for that, because it's got a potential with some people to set them up for, if they've got a bit of land problems with rabbits, squirrels, rats, anything like that. This is going to be more than capable of sorting it out, and I reckon out to 40 yards as well. So, mm, very interesting. Let's get it on the 20 yarder and give it a try. See you in a bit. Cheers. Hello again, on 20 yarder. Uh, I thought I got it sussed out with the H&N field target trophies, but no, we weren't having it. Started dieseling, so RWS Superdome field blinds, 14.66, same as the BSA Felix, aren't they? I prefer to go lighter with a Springer anyway. So I've already loaded the magazine up. That's typical Gamo slash BSA. Put one in, rotate it. Put one in, rotate it indicator on the top so yeah it's a nice little setup tells you on there anyway how to load it skirt facing here obviously right let's see how we get on this is the step setup that it comes with so there we go That's that. I'll go for the center They're a 20 mil splat with an 8 mil bullseye in the middle. So it does seem to like the uh, RWS Superdomes. Right, centre again. Still settling in with it being a new gun. Top left. Hold it. Hold it. Seems to be easily, I do believe. Yeah, it is. Five hundred ninety two. That's better. Yeah, I've gone for the lighter pellets. So, I'm not sure what's happening here. Might be me, probably me. Oop. Wasn't watching there, was I? Yeah, it's diesel a bit with it being new. Probably have to give the barrel a clean. Just give this a quick load. There we 
go, that's all 10. In it goes. Yeah, I think with it being new, it's dieseling a bit, so it's a little bit up and down. Let's see what happens. Bottom right. Smoking as well. I'll probably give the barrel a clean and give it another go top right. It's more like what they're capable of these rifles. I think it's really being brand new, it's up and down. Maybe I should have given the barrel a clean. Bottom left. shot on that magazine anyway bottom left still 585 still let it in at the end of the day like I say it's the first time I've had the crony on it surprising what you can learn All ten, don't take that one. Still on the RWS Superdome's mind. Uh, bottom left. Not only to load it. There we go. So myself pull that. Still up and down, mind, on the power. 594. 592. Bottom right. I do like this multi shot system, mine. Top left. Left again. Five hundred sixty six. Top right. Five hundred sixty eight. Settling down, I hope. Top right. In fact, now I'll go for the arm, will bro.
bait barrel as well. I do believe it's settling in. Yeah. Quite chuffed with that. I think it's definitely a case of it settling in with it being new. It's fresh out of the box anyway. Big stop. All this is nice, you know. Right, see what's going on. There we go. So, this had a, a standard deviation of 15.2 feet per second, but the average has been 592. So, obviously, a lot lower. And it does seem to be coming down a bit. I did have this, I've had it before. I had it with a Cobb, I had it with a Walter. Or a mate, just got to let them in, get them rolling, get them worn in. It's a bit like running a car engine in, really. But yeah, quite impressive that. Quite impressive. Can't wait to get it further out now. I'm going to make sure it's all fully leaded in, though. But yeah, I'm quite I'm suitably impressed. 20 yards. It's not done anything, not running. New gun, performing like that with a little 3x9x40 on it. So, hmm, marvellous. Thanks a lot. See you later. Cheers.